Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well today we're going to do a request for Ashton. He asked me to model a scarf for a character. Okay, so I created this guy in Fuse. Um, I don't know if creating is the right word. It's more assembly, but nevertheless, it's a character. And we're going to create a scarf for this guy. Okay, so let's start with a, um, a polygon pipe. We'll hit W, we'll pull that up. F to zoom in. Uh, let's raise that above his head so we can see what we're doing. All right. And then we're going to go into our attribute editor. And let's see. We are going to um, set the thickness to 0 0.15. Uh, yeah, that's about right. And then we're going to hit R. We're going to scale it out a little bit. W to pull it down. F to zoom in. R to scale it down to something like this, and E to rotate. R to scale down, and W to pull up. Okay, now initially we want this to be resting on the back of his neck, right? So what we'll do is we'll right click, go to face, we'll take this top face row by clicking and shift double clicking. And we're going to hit R, we're going to bring that in a bit. And then hit W and kind of bring that down, like so. And then we're going to take this edge. And we're going to kind of bring it in like that. Okay. We're going to right click the object mode. We're going to move the whole thing a little bit over, like so. All right, and let's make sure that we're not cutting into our geometry. So what we'll do is um, we'll hit E, we'll rotate it back slightly, W to pull up. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll right-click at our vertex. Looks like it twisted a little bit, but that's okay. We'll take these and we'll just kind of bring that down. We're going to right click at object mode and we're going to hit three for smooth. And then we can start to kind of tweak this. And what we'll do actually is go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. And we'll do one right there. Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click at our vertex. And we're going to hit B for soft select. And we're going to start to take some of these areas and kind of tweak the overall shape. Okay, this is supposed to look like a scarf and not like, you know, a piece of metal or something like that. Okay, so hit E, kind of rotate that inwards. And we're going to bring the whole thing more towards his neck. This section we're going to bring down. Oops. Come on. Oops. Object mode. Hit B. Right click vertex. And it looks a bit odd right now, but we're getting there. R, kind of pinch that. Come on. Kind of tedious because it involves a lot of 
movement as far as vertices are concerned. Kind of rotate that a little bit. Okay, we're getting there. We're just gonna double click on our rotate tool. We're gonna switch to world. So we can kind of bring that in. And then go back to object mode. Just a bit more. Hit W, kind of bring that in. This section right here. Okay. All right. Then we're going to right click to object mode. We can hit B to turn that off right now. Hit Control D to duplicate. W to bring that up just a little. And obviously, we don't want to have the exact same shape. So we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that a little bit. and push that down and this will cut into each other but we're going to create one mesh out of this okay so for this we're going to go back to right click vertex hit b once again want to have a very distinct set of two layers, if you will. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to this guy, hit B to deselect that. Right click object mode, hit one to get out of soft select. And what we'll do there is go to mesh tools insert edge loop and one right there q on our keyboard and let's take this face right here edit mesh extrude w to pull out G to repeat, W to pull out, E to rotate, and R to scale down, G to repeat, W to pull out, R to scale out, G to repeat, W to pull out, and we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that backwards. To give it some more thickness and W to push it down more towards our shirt. G to repeat, W to pull out and push down. Not too much like that. And I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool. Add an edge loop at the end right there. Hit Q on your keyboard to get out of that. Then we're going to right click to object mode. We're going to select all of it. Go to mesh and combine. And then go to mesh and smooth. All right. Now this needs some work. So we're going to hit one to go back. Uh, sorry, we can't. We just Hard to smooth this, that's fine. We're going to right click at our vertex, take these vertices, hit B, and then W to kind of tweak that shape. We'll hit R, we'll kind of bring that in so it starts to look like fabric. I think that's better. 
hit B, right click object mode. Yeah, it's better. Okay, let's add some texture to this. We're gonna right click, assign new material, Lambert, check it box, file, folder, and I got this camo texture that I wanna use. Okay, it works for this, not so much for this. So what we'll do here is we'll go to face, Sign material, Lambert, check it box, file, folder, camo. Looks like I'm gonna have to UV this. That's fine. Control Z, we'll go to UV, planar mapping, sign the material, Lambert, Check it box, file, folder, camo, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> well, that's it. That's how I do this. Um, yeah, doesn't look too bad. And uh, yeah, so give that a try. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you if I can. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.